Hi, this is a Blender tutorial on dealing with smooth shading and fixing normals and dealing with other smooth shading issues. So here we have a sphere. And if we render it, it looks fine without smooth shading. So we select smooth shading, render it, and it's got some problems. And I'm just going to fix a small problem here. This should be generated rather than UV. Okay, now we don't have that split on the plane. Okay, so to fix this, the problem is the normals. They're not pointing in the right direction for some of the polygons. And we can see the problem. If we turn on normals here, you can see that most of these normals are pointing outwards. And you can't see it, but these polygons have the normals pointing inwards. You can adjust the size of these normals. I wouldn't make them too large. If you make them too large, the ones that are pointing inwards will stick out the other side. And having some normals sticking out the wrong way will make it harder to see what's wrong. So pick an appropriate size. So you can always try the quick fix. It doesn't always work. We select all and then do control N. It will fix them. Now we can see that they're all pointing the right way. We render the image. It's nice. Let's revert. And go into edit mode. Turn on normals again. So how do we fix this manually? We can press C for the circular selection. And we want to be in face mode, so just check that you're selecting the faces. And we want to flip the normals. Now, Blender has context and sort of menus that will help you. Press escape first. Press the space bar. Now you can search for what you want. And I'll just type flip. And then I'll just click on flip normals. And again, we can see the normals pointing outwards. And we render. Turn on smooth again. You need to be in object mode. Smooth, render, and everything's fine. Okay, so let's look at a case where we can't just fix it with normals. Okay, here's a cylinder, and I've done a Boolean deformation on the cylinder with a sphere. I render, it renders fine without smooth shading. I select my object, go into smooth shading. You can already see there's problems. I render it, and you can see these harsh transitions. It's not a smooth transition, so it means that the normals aren't working. If I go down here, go to display if it's not showing. Oops, need to be in edit mode. And display the normals. I need to show larger normals here. Okay, so right now I need to fix the normals because they're pointing in different directions. Again, that's control N. Now we can see that all the normals are pointing outwards. And I'll render it again. But that didn't fix anything. And we still have these harsh transitions. 
So if I zoom in a little bit closer, the smooth shader works when the normals don't have a high degree of separation. So these are pointed relatively in the same direction with a small change. Here, when we're looking at this face, going into these faces inside, these normals are all pointed almost orthogonally to these faces. And what it's going to do is it's going to average out the normals. So that's what's giving us a harsh transition. So how do we fix this? Okay, we can select all of these or all of these and partition it. And I think it's easier because there's fewer faces on the cylinder to select those. Okay, we want to select again, select faces, circular select, select those ones, press escape, make sure you got all of them. So I missed that one. Okay, press escape, partition with P, partition by selection, go back to object mode. I can select that, and I can select that, and I don't see anything that's badly partitioned. Okay, now I can select the cylinder, and smooth shade, and render. And there we have nice shading, nice smooth shading, nice smooth shading. The only problem is I partitioned it. So if I try to move this, they don't move together. So what you'll want to do is select one of them, select the other one, and do Control P and parent the object. Now if I select the cylinder and I move that, it will move as a group. And that completes its lesson.